today we're here with Tierna Williams, one of uh, our national player, also one of our coaches who got selected to go off to a summer camp to the United States. And she's going to share her experience, how she feels about it, and what she expects going there. Um, Tierna, a national player and a national senior women team, how are you doing today? I'm a bit nervous, but I feel quite comfortable now. <laughs> okay, you've been playing football for a while now, this end of year, just started playing for Paradise FC, International Women's Team. How is, how is that going for you? Are you still on the team? Yes, I still play for Paradise, female football team, and also assist in coaching the girls there, like previously, like right now. Okay, and you're also part of the women national senior team. You made a number of caps for Grenada already. Well, how was that journey for you? Well, the, exp the experience was good. I learned, I met different people, I met, I went different places. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I learned different things, like what to expect from other people on the outside. Yes. So you're taking your talent now from the field of play, playing football, and now you're going to the coaching arena. And you've got an opportunity to go and further that coaching aspect of your life. Now tell us what makes you when you want to be a coach? What make, what drive you towards that? Well, as a young lady growing up, I always said I wanted to be a coach, but I never really like put myself into it until now. As because now I see well I don't really have much female coaches at the moment, so I try to I try my best to do to encourage other female to so yeah. So literally saying trying to be an example to yeah. female, female persons in Grenada and carry for example. Yeah. Okay, so coaching. Tell us from your experience coaching so far, in that it was well, a couple of months, a year to say, how has that been? For you, at what age group are you coaching? Oh, well, for me, the experience, well, it's going good for now, I guess. <laughs> but I don't know, like, I'll be coaching like grassroots mm -hmm. session, I just do session at home with them younger kids, and I just coach like grade under 15 and under 17. For now, I assist in coaching, so it's like basically the head coach will tell you what to do and then. See if you do it in warm up today, say two and I will do warm up today and I will, I will go ahead and do this. Mm -hmm. Often though I feel good as coaching them children, like so you could see like I'm so excited when I see them coming out and like they learn a new thing, I can see them improving. Mm -hmm. So Tiana, tell us about this opportunity you get to go to a coaching academy. Tell us more about it. Well, first off, uh, I would like to say thanks to the Grenada that women's director for giving us the opportunity to go to the UK so we go to the camp. Basically the name of the camp is UK International Soccer Program. This camp has well it hosts two camps, one at May and March to August and from August to September. So the one from March to August is basically like the summer camp where we'll be going to different states like we'll be in Las Vegas for like a week and then from Las Vegas we'll be going to like New York but basically it's not you will not we're not settling so it's movement because according to because it's more than what the organization is like over a thousand children so it's like we can't stay one place too long mm -hmm. so yeah so the one from September now is basically like a camp it's like a college so we'll be going into the college and coaching other like other players. So we're getting like to meet other people, interact with other coaches, like international coaches. So yeah. And what age group do you be coaching? So from my course I'll be coaching like from three, the under three, under six, under ten, and under eighteen. Yes. Okay, so. you know coaching it has comes with education. Have you started the process of doing mm -hmm. your coaching courses, like license courses and stuff as yet? So we will start our license courses from June this year, 
but because it's still on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so but we have mm -hmm. like the organization have courses, so we're doing like now that we almost finish up on but we have like okay, the courses you have like different like categories. After you do this course you get a, a certificate so stating that you finish this level. Then you have a next level like where they're giving you assignment to do mm -hmm. and then you get a certificate at the end. So the, the license course now is like basically getting a coaching license. So getting license to coach. So yeah. How far do you see yourself going with this coaching? Uh, should I put it? Um, with this coaching skills. How far do you see taking you? Well, to me, I think I will reach far once I put my mind to it, and I know that like, this is what I want to do and this is what I want. So, but for now, this is what I want to do. I will push myself to do it, I would, and I would like to encourage young female out here to make up their mind, do what I have to do, and push herself to. This sounds like a very intense um, coaching opportunity. It sounds like fun as well. How long do the How long the course be running for? Well, the course will be running for at least three months, but the course is like you could renew your contract. So you go for like you say like three months. You had to go for like you could go for six months a year. Yes. Yeah, so so basically, it's based on performance. Yeah. So it's like how you perform as a coach yourself, yes. what you do, and then they and then they call you back and tell you well, you can renew your contract. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Okay. Um, how do you see this benefiting you as a person and uh, your country and all? Well, how I, well it will benefit me in like. To, like I would help inspire young ladies to not just young ladies but like male and female to just don't be like sitting down on your goals. Reach for your goals and make sure like you achieve your goals. How you benefit me and GFA, well Grenada Football Association, like you put us on the map. You will be like, okay, so I will put GFA on the map sitting well, this is for Grenada. You come from Grenada and look at you making Grenada proud and like they will see like look up to you. And the process of yeah. purchasing quality coaches and yeah. yeah. And they will be like, come I could uh, like call and next Grenada coach anytime. So that is how I see it. But you know coaching, is that something that you always wanted to do? How how did this happen for you? Gravitating to us well, coaching? Oh well I always say well I wanted to be a coach. Mm -hmm. Because I played football for Grenada and I say one day I would want to be coaching the young females or young males. Mm. So I just stick to the plan and I say, well, this is what I want to do and this is what I want to do. So I'm just trying, well, trying my best to become, well, now one, one of the best coaches mm. we have out here. Uh, well, the benefit from me, I say, like to help inspire young ladies or young men. To just do just you know, mm -hmm. push yourself. Say you can do it, and you can do it. Okay, so Tiana, all the best to you. I wish you nothing but success on your endeavors, okay. and I hope that when you go over to America to that academy, that you do succeed, and that in the process your contract will be renewed, and then you go on becoming that coach that you want to be. Now, best and good luck. Thank you. <laughs>